here's the thing with Riley Leonard. And we talked about this briefly at the top of the show here. Great athlete. A lot of fun to watch. Incredibly raw. Duke won nine games last year. They didn't play anyone that was ranked last year. In fact, I think this win over Clemson on Monday night against a top 10 opponent, that's the first time they beat a top 10 opponent going back 35 years or something. It's been a minute, as the kids like to say. Debo, can you show Rick that uh, tweet from Danny Cannell about uh, yeah, Riley Leonard? One second. Yeah, so Riley Leonard's from Alabama. Didn't get recruited at all for football, basically. Was a huge basketball guy. I think he's 6'3", 6'4". And he is an athlete. Like, the athleticism pops. And when, when you see him play basketball, you're like, oh, okay. Now, he doesn't have the best arm in the world. Again, he's sort of figuring out the position as he goes. When they watched me play basketball, they said the same thing, except the different, oh, okay. <laughs> now, here he is throwing it down at 360. Rick, does that get your attention when you're? Yes, it does. Okay. Yeah. That's not me in high school either, just so if anyone got confused. No, that was you getting dunked on. I think you were the defender. <laughs> you, got, <laughs> you, got, <laughs> you got to take the charge, Rick. But the, the point is that the athleticism on some levels translates, and it certainly translated on that, that late run. He ripped off a 44-yarder. It was on third down to start the second half, gave Duke the lead, and they didn't relinquish it. Now, listen, like Spencer Rattler, he spent some time running for his life. He had some of his receivers drop balls. Jalen Calhoun, number five for Duke, is, is a guy to keep an eye on. He – Muffed the punt, had a couple drops, made some plays. So we'll see if he bounces back. But I give Riley Leonard a pop for winning a huge game. It wasn't pretty, but something you can build on. Yeah, no, I agree with you 100%. He was a pop for me, too. And the athleticism was on full display last night. I still needs to develop. The one stat that I, again, I chart, try to chart all these guys. He only had two throws of plus 20 yards down the field. Now, was it because of the run of his life or not? And the other stat was there were only six throws of plus 10 yards down the field. Right. And he was one of six on throws of plus 10 yards down the field. But I'm giving him credit for national stage, Duke beating Clemson, spotlights on him. Let's see what he does going forward. Just like we talked about Colorado, it's great. You got everybody's attention. Everybody's watching. What are you going to do? Uh, but there's no question about his athleticism. I still think he needs to become a more accurate passer, especially when he has to throw, when he's making a, uh, off-schedule type throws. Sometimes off his back foot, he missed some throws I thought he should have made. But there's no question about his size, his athleticism. And he was the one, the reason why they beat Clemson last night. Yeah, he might be a better athlete. He's a better athlete than Drake May, in my mind. Uh, he's probably a better athlete than Daniel Jones coming out. And Daniel Jones was – he 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 could run. Like, people don't give him credit because he looks like – Well, know, it was on display last year for the Giants. The reason yeah. why the Giants was because of Daniel I, Jones' uh, ability to make plays. I think he was second in the league in uh, rushing. Uh, so, behind, that, uh, that athleticism has gotten him a long way. In his defense, I will say, too, a lot of those throws down the field – his receivers struggle to get open. And, you know, we know about this Clemson defense. That said, my guy Barry Carter, I didn't see him. His name was called once, and that's when he missed the tackle in the backfield to start the second half when which Riley Leonard ripped off a 44-yard run. That was it. You heard Andrew Makuba's name, the safety. He flashed a little bit at times. But there, there wasn't a lot of other talk about these other guys on defense that were supposed to be stalwarts. No, and even your guy, you're not supposed to talk about the corner. He missed the tackle at the end of that play on the 44-yard run. Yes, he did. So. But I told you coming in, he wasn't going to tackle anybody, so he kept his word on that one. <laughs> but I, I made note of that. Yeah, that. So that that's a tough that's tough sledding for for Dabo and that team, um, for sure. But a great win for for Duke. Flat, uh, a pop, excuse me, for Riley how, Leonard. How exciting is college football and that atmosphere when they came rushing down on the field after the game? And that's the right. That's the thing. Like you don't see that in the NFL because it's you know it's it's yeah commercialized well, you, and. Yeah, there's snipers. You'd get shot. <laughs> there's that, too. Exactly. And, it's you know, it's a whole different. Yeah, it's great. It's great for, you know, finally Duke University gets a break. <laughs> they had so many things go wrong for them with all the, the basketball yeah, national that's, titles. That's, and you the, got to give Coach Echo uh, credit for what he's done coming in his first year. and being, In fact, he was a, a ACC Coach of the Year uh, last year with the nine wins. And I was a little bit surprised just watching that game before – I go to bed at halftime because <laughs> I don't stay up past 930. Nope. Uh, was how hard they played on defense. And they have some pretty good athletes, and they talk about Roman Olbinson. Yeah. 
defensive end that kind of popped out yesterday a little bit as well. Al Blades Jr. is on that team as well, transfer from the U? Yeah, but those guys were flying around, and they were not intimidated by Clemson whatsoever. In fact, I thought they played harder than the Clemson kids did overall last night. And, in fact, the sideline reporter uh, on the telecast said after the game or late in the game that from field level, it didn't look like Clemson was faster than Duke on the field. Like they, it was a, it was an even horse race, so to speak. Yeah. And One coach, thing you can control is effort. And there was no question the effort was there for Duke last night. Yeah, great win. We'll see how it goes from here. But like you mentioned, it's a fantastic start to the college season with some huge wins.